Okay, when did you find out about the National Initiative, and why did you choose to endorse it? Found out about it when somebody told me about it. I don't remember. Who's to somebody? Mike Gravel? Maybe. I support so many things, I can't get them straight. Okay. The National Initiative is the, probably the oldest uh, attempt at a, a, a constitutional amendment for uh, legislative reform. Yeah, I understand. Uh, as far as legislation by the people, etc. There have, since the Occupy movements uh, in the past year or so, there have been a lot of groups popping up. Do you see, uh, are, first of all, are you endorsing any of those also? I think the Occupy movements are a very significant uh, development. Uh, and there, as you say, there are other things coming out of them uh, of all sorts, uh, financial transaction tax, uh, campaign uh, funding reform, uh, more far-reaching changes. Mm -hmm. Do you see a problem with, let's we'll say, oversaturation with all these groups popping up, possibly, mm -hmm. where they don't know each other? It's almost like a sleeper cell or something competing. Do you think that... Not knowing each other is a serious problem. It's a very atomized society. I, I travel around a lot, and one of the uh, most useful things I've found over the years that my visits places to this do is that it simply brings people together from the same community, and people who may be doing similar things and don't know about each other. In fact, one of the real achievements of the Occupy movement, I think, has, uh, has just been to bring people together in uh, communities of uh, mutual support and uh, uh, free interchange and free discussion. That's very rare. It's a very atomized society. Now, people are alone. You know. That's another technique. Okay, the, the Occupy movements have been ignored. They've been laughed at. Are they being fought, and will they win, going by Gandhi's uh, stages of, of, of success? Did, but um, it's, it's true that they're, it's a mixture, actually. So, for example, in, uh, I've been kind of struck by the fact in, that in the, the most important business press in the world, the London Financial Times, uh, they've been treated pretty sympathetically. If they don't agree with everything they're calling for, but, they agree with a fair amount of it, and I think they're a good thing. Uh, it's true. Will they succeed? Well, they, I mean, they have a problem, quite plainly. Uh, they have to... Uh, uh, the tactic was spectacularly successful. The tactics have, uh, have diminishing returns. You, know, you have to adapt tactics to new situations. You can't get hung up on a tactic. And I think the Occupy movements have to find ways to reach out to engage broader communities and uh, the chance to do that could be very significant.